What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're working on old Big Bertha one more time. Um, this is my 2017 Silverado LT. So obviously in this truck, I gotta rely on Old Faithful USB-A to lightning cable cable here, which is not necessarily a huge deal. Whenever I got my, my wife in the car, sometimes people in the back seat, we're all fighting for the stingy cable and I have no other way to charge my phone in this car. So in the 2017, I think 2016 and up to the 2019, the LTZs and high countries did have charging capabilities here in the center console. The problem was, is it was like the very first generation of the QI charging system, which basically only supports up to, I believe, an iPhone 8, which is, honestly, if you're still rocking an iPhone 8, I don't know what's going on, but I'm rocking an iPhone 14. My truck doesn't have the wireless capability. So Boost Auto was kind enough to send me their wireless charging adapting kit here. Basically, it's designed to go in place of this little mat that I have here that's absolutely useless and wire right into my center console with their specific harness and give me the opportunity to wireless charge my phone, charge my wife's phone or anyone else that's in the car. So let's go ahead, crack open a, any drink here and let's get started. So before we jump kind of into the install, I'm still sitting in my truck because it is scorching hot and I refuse to turn the truck off at the moment. Um, you obviously have the uh, wireless charging pad that's designed to replace the factory one here, which its own harness. And then you have the plug and play harness to use on this car, on this truck. And they do make it for other applications. I think the 2500 and 1500 have the same setup, so it's not a big deal. But obviously if you have a center console versus uh the 60-40, not 60-40, the, the bench split here that I have up front, um, they are slightly different. So you are going to need a screwdriver or a drill. Um, got those and then kind of like a plastic trim pick uh, to kind of help, you know, get some of these things to pop loose. I'm going to jump into it, start doing this. It should take me no longer than, you know, 15, 20 minutes to probably get this done. So let's jump into it. So you want to use the plastic pick to kind of get around this and pop this off. It should just come right out. I've actually taken this off before because I've had to replace my center console already. Because if you've had your car lo truck long enough, you know that your elbow will eventually go right through these and crack there with the grease of our skin, the oils from our skin. So, you know, just kind of guide it out. It's basically just clips. I've already taken off this little top piece, which is also like just, I wouldn't even call them clips. Um, screws right here. So you want to kind of, same thing, use that pick, back them out, lift up the rubber mat. Back these two screws out. Once you do that, this piece I mean, this has been on this truck for quite some time, but should kind of come out. Might need a little bit of convincing, but that's all right. So after you do a little bit of convincing here, you could pull up this top panel, which just goes here. You're gonna have three harnesses here. Um, you wanna disconnect all three, because you're gonna use this new harness to kind of go in place of this one and kind of interconnect. So this one obviously has a tab on the top, just this one has a tab at the bottom, and it just takes a little bit of a finagling, very soft tab. So all three harnesses are disconnected. You want to kind of come here, back this out, drop it in here. You're going to take out the center console piece, basically the tray. this down so I don't break anything I believe you can leave everything in the tray whatever you got in there yep it completely comes out and now we route the new harness through all right so we've got the new harness kind of routed in you do want to you can't see it in the camera but you do want to route the uh, fuse towards the front 
and the rest of that extra wire is going to kind of lay under the compartment box. You do have to drill into your, your, uh, your lid to kind of create a pathway for the wire to kind of drop through. So it's a 3 8 drill bit. Got it on my other Ryobi here. All those uh, peers hate on me for using Ryobi. I'm going to drill that hole in there, route the wires down, and I'll kind of showcase that in a second. I had the power on the truck because it's just so friggin' hot here in Florida right now and humid. The truck's reading 91, but it probably feels like a thousand. Um, once you have it routed, I think I showed in the video here, but the cable is routed through here. Obviously, we're going to organize that in a second. Um, you want to pull off that top mat, and then there's four self tappers to kind of lock in the wireless charger. I mean, they do say don't use a drill, um, but I'm a little lazy. I'm just going to take the drill slowly. Right, we can lay this part back on and start reverse ordering everything back onto the car. I'll fix that in a second. Let's get everything tightened back up. I did remove four screws from here, so we do got to put those back on, which is pretty much what locks in the uh, that plastic panel on the top of your console. Keeps it in place. Well, let's test the phone at least. And we are charging. There you have it, a quick little install. A couple little notes on the uh, Boost Auto wireless charger. One, the factory one that comes in the LTZs and a lot of like maybe some aftermarket brands, they only have two coils. This one has three charging coils. So it's supposed to have a little bit better of a connection, especially like with our iPhones that have those massive cameras now, they kind of sit on an angle, doesn't necessarily always catch perfectly. This one really reduces that chance. It is a quick charger, so it should kind of ramp that battery back up for you. And then again, if you have an LTZ or if you have a high country, you, you might have that already in your truck, but it might not work. And that's mainly because it's got the old QI charging frequency that no longer exists on anything past an iPhone 8. So if you do have a phone that's in this century, you're gonna have to upgrade it. And Boost Auto is the place to do it, mainly because the connection is so seamless, the wiring and everything. I hate electrical, but I don't mind working on it when it comes to the Boost Auto products. I have their mirrors, I have their steps, I now have that, um, just because their stuff is pure quality. Thanks again to Boost Auto for sending this part out to kind of get you know my truck even more updated. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.